Hey guys, it is September 28th. And I just wanted to give an update of what has sort of happened in the last five to seven days in these spaces. So let's take a look. We have drywall up. We have the bay window pretty much done, except for we're waiting on the four x four picture window, which probably won't come till November because we had to order it and everything because of COVID has been delayed and taking longer. But it's looking like a room. We're gonna finish off that wall with some primer and some paint. We have it set up for October 12th for the company to come in and install our heat and cooling system, which is gonna be a mini split system. And so up there on the wall, we're gonna have the unit that's coming in to cool or heat the, the room to keep it temperature controlled. And then we'll have the same thing in the back workshop I'll show you where. But that will be coming. We're deciding what to do with the floor because it is cement and we have a few options. I was picturing doing sort of a wood look, but we've also considered possibly just leveling and painting it. So we'll kind of see. It's definitely, I want it to feel more cozy in here than it does now. So whatever it takes to get that. Probably leaning on the warmer end and nothing too dark because it is still a small room. We don't want to darken it by using like a dark wood color on the floor. We want to keep it pretty pretty light, pretty neutral. So we'll see where that goes. And if we end up figuring that out this month or not, let me give you a peek of the outside. Do you like our makeshift moving water thing? Because <laughs> we often have water that just falls from that and then is making sort of a hole, which is then not great for the foundation. So we're trying to move that, move the water when it does rain so that we can eventually replace the gutter system and move it back that direction. Also got the lights replaced here. And here he added, there was a porch light that was on the outside of this room shining into the yard. He used that to create this little bay window light. We have technically an extra random connection that is connected, connected to the switch. So I can do some like fun mood lighting or something if I wanted to by attaching to that. We'll see how that goes. And then we are gonna replace this little guy with a track light so I can kind of position them to point at paintings on the wall. We have doors, there's a door, and it is a solid door, so it's gonna be, it's not framed in yet, um, but a solid door that will keep the temperature the same on the inside of this room because the garage is not gonna be temperature controlled. And looks like Jerry, I'm gonna have to be careful of this. Jerry has leveled the floor for us a little bit to prepare for um, flooring, which we're probably gonna do on our own since we're gonna have to have some time to do that. But this is what I really am excited to show you guys. Obviously cabinets went in last week or the week before but do you notice anything different? Ooh. I actually did it, guys. I did the distressed wall. Let's take a close up. <laughs> I went for really subtle colors and I just blended, sprayed with water, let it drip between four different colors. I actually have a video on how I did this, which I will link in the description below. Super, super fun. I've always wanted to do a distressed wall or faux wall. Um, so super, super excited. 
about how it turned out. It's very subtle, very light pastel colors, but it's exactly what I wanted. It's exactly what I wanted. It looks so much better in person. I've realized that with taking some photos, I'm like, it looks way better in person than it does on a camera or in a photograph. But I also did the same thing to the back of the bathroom wall. I'll turn off a light briefly too, so you can kind of get a feel for that. But yeah, it was super fun. It didn't take me very long at all. Like maybe an hour on each wall, maybe if even, but I'm loving it. So, so it's done. It went so quickly. <laughs> I wasn't thinking it would be that quick. So that's the progress so far. We're hoping to get sink for this room, get the counters for this room, and do the flooring for this room. And then obviously we're gonna get the AC heat unit, which is gonna come in this wall here. This will be the placement for the internal piece. There'll be things like the window sills will be done, need to be done, and um, the frames on the walls or around the door will have to be done, as well as obviously like, uh, what do you call it? Molding around the floor and the wall, whatever it's called. I don't know anything. Um, so things like that have to happen, but otherwise like this room is ready for, once those things are done, uh, to kind of move into and get my stuff organized into these cabinets and so, yeah, anyway, our guy is not able to work here for probably the next five weeks, which is a long time. But again, all the stuff I just mentioned for this room is stuff we are able to do on our own um, with the help of our amazing fathers and family members who have already been a huge help. So we will have no problem getting this room to where it needs to be. That next room, we were waiting on the window, the picture window and then figuring out what we're gonna do with the flooring and then getting the track light. But honestly, there's not much left in there either. So really all of this is coming together. It's coming together quickly. It's amazing how the last three, four months have just flown by with update after update. So I'm excited to keep you up to date on all the progress. So thanks again for watching and we'll see what else happens this month. All right, October 12th, which was this week, this Tuesday, they installed the mini split heating and cooling system to keep this back room and the other room temperature controlled so I can store things like paint and stuff like that. I don't know if you can see out the window. No. Oh, you can. There's the, there's the unit outside that they then have it coming into this room right there, which is where we planned it to be, which worked out good. And then also, which it's working in this room currently, and it's actually like a 38 degree day, so it's cold and it's working in there. It feels warm in there. And then here's the other one. They weren't positive if they would be able to fit it right there, which is where we planned it to be. The other option was to fit it right there above this wall, which was not what I was excited about. So thankfully they were able to fit it right there. So it's out of the way, it's above the window. Um, this side is not turned on yet because this is not completely insulated yet and not ready. So once that is ready, then we'll turn this on. But that was probably the last, you can see the piping down back in there along the edge of the building, but hopefully that was the last of the expensive, expensive stuff that we have to pay for. So otherwise we're gonna start working on flooring and countertop and things like that. not very pretty, but it doesn't matter. It's the back of the studio and workshop. Sweet.
Hey guys, today we got this guy installed. Woohoo! That's a big window. Got framed in windows. Okay guys, it is November 5th already, which is just crazy. Um, and I wanted to give you an update before I finish off this video for you with just studio progress number five. Sorry if I'm like talking a little weird. I got like a filling and I'm like all numb still and I got new glasses and I can't see because everything's warpy and really sharp and weird. But anyway, bear with me. <laughs> I'll be okay. I think I'll be okay. We had another week, week and a half with our contractor who came so I wanna fill you in on what it looks like now, what things we're gonna be working on in the coming month. And guys, we are getting so close, so close. Like close enough to be able to move stuff in very, very soon. So um, yeah, let's let, let's do a little tour quick and I'll kind of tell, tell you things, talk about things as we go. So this room, for the most part, we just had um, a little bit more mudding that had to happen. So we'll have to prime and paint this. Then we primed it and never actually finished painting it. So we'll have to prime it again for those spots that he fixed up. And then obviously we have the new window and then we have the seat actually um, covered. We actually have the ceiling part of this in case you didn't notice before was not finished. Now it is. So that will also have to be painted. So this whole bay window section is just looking really really good um look at that it's just gorgeous that all that light coming in when we have grass next year it's just gonna be beautiful <laughs> it's already beautiful um same here we'll have to uh, prime and paint this section and uh, we did get a new door as of today so that's good it's sealed at the bottom so that again the temperature um, doesn't escape the warmth or the the cool um, we are going to keep this wall the same way. We do have, and I think we've settled on this, we are thinking we're going to do this tile, kind of a terracotta tile um, in this room on the floor. And these are these will be, I think, like a foot, square foot each piece. Um, but it actually will incorporate a little bit of the sort of southwestern style that we want to incorporate into this room. And it actually... A little dusty but it does it does go well with the wall like I think it's gonna look good so um, there's a little update on the flooring have fun we have to do some major like leveling I don't know if you can notice the flooring on this side is is sloping to the, the right there um, and then we're gonna have to seal this and do a lot of prep so that you know, it doesn't crack the tile over time, and we have had water seeping in from this crack right here. So we'll have to kind of deal with those things a little bit first. Outside, we will be painting at some point, most likely, but color is still up in the air. This door has been completely framed in now. Uh, it wasn't before, and it's it's pretty sealed, so that is good. And ooh, flooring, we have now a little, what do you call it, threshold <laughs> here, which is really nice. And it just is looking really, really slick and clean. All the doors and windows are framed in. And we have, uh, what do you call it, baseboard all the way around. So we've also got it back in there. We've got it along the side, underneath the cabinets, and um, all the way around the room. It just looks, it looks finished. Doesn't it look great? Oh my gosh, I'm just so excited. Super fresh, super clean, super professional. 
And then we obviously have the windows also framed. Just looking really, really good. Nice big window sills for me to put stuff on. Especially this one, this was that double one because we had that wall it was much bigger so that will you can put stuff on there. And also in here, got the frame around the edges, covered up weird electrical stuff on the top we'll have to paint. Um, I painted the doors, I don't know if I mentioned that. I painted these doors, they were an off-white. Um, and I painted them to match the wall, which was the ultra pure white. So, um, so this kind of fun, this will be sort of my filming corner, filming studio back here. We'll have different background options, maybe some shelving on the wall back here. Um, it's just, it's coming together. This back room, we have um, counter is on its way. We're hoping next week it'll come. We actually settled on um, butcher board, which is thick. It's all hardwood, but we can stain it what we want to. And I think it's just gonna, it's a little more expensive, but I think it'll just look good and last better. We honestly, we're looking at laminate countertops and there was nothing we really like liked. Like there's a lot of the speckly, you know, brown. It just looks like someone threw up all over it. It's just, so we did, they didn't even have like a plain white, which I probably would have been my other option. They had like marbly white, which wasn't horrible, but ordering it, getting it, cutting it, putting the side, it just like seemed like too much work for not really a great counter. So we went for butcher board, which I'm really excited about because I can probably pick out some of the tones in the flooring and kind of match it. And I think it'll warm up the space a little bit more. Um, I think it'll just be a, a more natural, great surface to work on. Um, and kind of a great backdrop for things, for photos, for that type of thing. So we also ordered a, uh, a stainless steel, steel, the le, le, stainless steel sink. Um, I think we settled on the 24, yeah, it should be 24 wide, like nine or 10 inches deep. Um, with, I think it came with all the accessories for this sink. We were looking at a bunch of them. It's frustrating to look at stuff like that. On, uh, we were buying from Home Depot, I think. Cause there's just so many options and some things don't come with other things and ugh, all the sizing and everything. It's, you know, it's not like we do this very often <laughs> so we can't complain too much, but man, it's hard. And because of COVID and all this stuff, it's, everything's just delayed. Everything's backed up. So you have to order in advance. You don't get it for a while. Um, but I think the sink is also coming next week, so that's that's huge. Um, so we'll be able to do counter and sink. And, oh, toilet. We <laughs> we ordered a, we have to have a, a 10 inch rough in, which is a little bit less common. And so we ordered, we ordered one and then they got back to us and said, actually, we don't have that in stock. And so um, I can't remember, I don't think we have one on the way yet. We have to decide um, on which one to do. Once that stuff is done, which we are talking like, we're talking next week, guys. Like, uh, honestly, it hasn't sunk in. <laughs> it really hasn't sunk in, like how close we are. <sighs> yeah, like we are so close to moving the stuff that's currently, like our film, filming stuff is currently in um, our bedroom. Because our bedroom's nice and long, and so we've used the other half as sort of all of our YouTube filming, course filming stuff, and um, we're gonna be able to get that out of there and have like spots of our house reclaimed. <laughs> so it's really awesome. We also are gonna do a, an, an Ikea run here shortly because this spot behind me, we are gonna have just, you know, the classic Ikea cube storage. Um, probably a five foot, five foot by five, or five square by five square. Um, I'm gonna store my cards in one, my card supplies in one, and then filming stuff in another. And we'll have little cupboards and drawers to kind of hide, hide stuff. But um, once that it, that's in, then I can actually start organizing all that stuff that's in my garage right now, um, which would be fun. I'll probably scatter things across this floor and organize things by brushes, by paints, by this, by that, you know, whatever. So, um, yeah. I'm thrilled. I think I was telling my husband that I don't know if it's really gonna sink in until we've moved into the space and like 
are using it, you know? There's something about it just feels foreign when it's like we just come out here to check and see what the progress is and do some things. Um, but I think once we're in it and we're using it and we're utilizing it for what we've made it for, I think that's when it's gonna really be like, oh my gosh, we have this space, this ex these extra spaces that we're, I say we, cause also my husband is, has a YouTube channel too. So it's a shared space, <laughs> but I'm excited for the new year and kind of jumping into the new year and um, having this space to work in. And I'm definitely gonna have sort of an open house slash just party to kind of launch the space. Yeah, yeah, I'm super, super thrilled, super excited about where it's at and how it's coming along. So um, thank you guys for watching this whole process. I will keep you updated. We'll definitely have another video of just sort of the last minute details and move in and all this stuff. Um, and then obviously I will do a final video of sort of a, a studio tour, studio walkthrough. <laughs> um, and I'm just excited to, yeah, start working out here. So thanks for watching. Please give this video a like, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Watch all the other videos in this series if you haven't to see kind of where we started and where we're getting it to. Um, it's been really fun and it's all happened mostly with, actually yeah, it's all happened in a year's time. So um, less than a year. So please go check that out. Thanks guys for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye.